One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1966 Jaguar 4.2. It's a Mark 10, Mark X. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful car. I believe the next year exactly became a 420G and they got an up and down panel on that grill. And that's about the next change and only other change they ever did on these big old cars. And it's absolutely beautiful. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. If you subscribed, definitely share them. If you know me and you're on here a lot, share my videos. It really helps me out, especially something like this. Um, it gets it out there and maybe somebody who has a blog or something sees it and posts something about it to somebody who's really interested in it. Um, because of cars, I do a lot of cars on my channel. So subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and do this once around, and then I'll go ahead and go up close and show you any minor dings, damage, flaws, stuff like that. I'm doing kind of a three-part deal on these now, to where I'm going to do the exterior like I'm doing right now. And then I'll do the interior in the shadows like more evening time. And also do a little bit more walk around at night too to where you can see it. Now this car is absolutely beautiful, and I'm going to go down it now and kind of show you any damage, dings, dents, or just paint flaws. And paint flaws is the most of anything on this. Um, you can see right here, just some damage in the paint. And it's been painted at some point, and that damage is right there and right there. The paint underneath it actually looks good too. It's an absolutely beautiful shape. A little bit of little nicks there. It's pre-done to where you don't have to do that afterwards. Down the sides, just looks beautiful as can be. I'll show you like a little chip mark there and a couple little scratches like there a little couple marks right over here chip there little marks there so just every once in a while one of them um, not rusted out or anything Look at that all real metal there. Wheel wells look great. Look at them wheels. Covers. Love that. Looks awesome. The chrome on the bumper is just beautiful. Bumper guards and everything are in great shape. Even the seals have been replaced or something. A little light pitting maybe starting right there. You can barely see on both sides. I hope this wind don't get too bad. I'm sorry. Uh, metal, bump, metal bumper fillers. Oh, and you can see it just a little better there. See that? And right around there. Crack right there in the light. Another spot right there. And this gas door, it swings up and all, but it needs some work on the connection of it back there. A lot of these gas doors on these older Jags get that way. Um, don't seem to be leaking or nothing, but you can tell that seal is old and dried up for sure. Very clean around the window edges and all though. Across the trunk, just nice as can be. I'll show you in that this evening. Tips on the mufflers. And a little spot like right there. And around that gas lid. Now this one, however, swings up just fine. Dual tanks. Got the big old AC in the back. Ooh, buddy. Across the top is beautiful. Paint, there's a little crack right there. And some little checking going on right there. And so it's it's an older paint job that, you know, looks good. Love them fender mirrors, especially when you can see the Jaguar over the top. Oh, man. The wood in the dash. Dry seal, same way as in the back dried up over time. Missing that little clip on top that goes over the top of that. No, I think it's an original antenna. The vehicle inspection. Oh yeah! Wow! That's when they had the inspection uh, stickers in California. That's a long time ago. It's that long ago. Same thing there on the paint. And right around there. And I try and show just absolutely everything. The chrome, stainless, whatever you want to call it, looks great on the sides, as you can see. And I try to 
make sure you see it in every possible manner while I'm doing this to where there's no surprises. You know there's a little dent right there. Kind of a crease. It's hard to see, but it's there. Love the white wall tires. And these are a dimension all season. A little bit of dry rot going on the edges. Um, all kinds of tread. However, right there, right, right on that edge there. Not into the tire part, but there is a little bit there. So, older tires. I think my shadow might have been in that. Right there. And around the Jaguar. Same thing. The grill's in great shape. All the chrome and everything's in great shape. Let me get up close on it for you. It's just a tiny bit hazy. Not really. Looks great. Little stress marks here and there. And that right there, the chrome is coming off on the inner part of that grill right there. It's the only place I see damage on the chrome. These are beautiful. God, I love them lights and everything. Scuff there. And coming over the hood, it's just nice as can be. Another one of them. And a little scratch right there. And other than that, going on this side, you get a few more of them spots there. And at some point, a guy just take it down and paint it. A little dit 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 there. Not a real dented, dinged car. There's a little ding right there, I've seen. It's in great shape, man. A little ding right there. A little scratch right there. But that's about all there is to talk about. A little ding there. There's a ding with that chip. And that looks like a ding because there's so much missing, but it's not really, I don't think. A little hazing on the mirror there. Got the original wiper arm, but needs some wiper blades. Stuff right there coming off, and a spot there. And I believe, besides just a couple little pieces like this that I haven't shown you yet, That's it. And it's a nice car. Hope the windage wasn't too much here. Oh, and this little spot right there. That's the only corrosion I see starting anywhere. So, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Uh, This is a nice blue Jaguar. A lot of pride in driving, and it's as nice as it gets. And with that, I think that's going to be our exterior stuff. Um, I've got something else to throw in here, I just know it. Um, and I've got about three calls vibrated in my pocket here. So I'm going to clip something else here in a second, and we'll talk to you. One owner car guy, and there's a few shadows here where I am, but I just was going around it again. I wanted to make sure and show you this part inside here has a ding right there, and that's what caused it likely. And it peeled on the outside a little bit too, and I didn't see that. And there's a mark right there that comes off. That's just some wax or something. But I'm going up right now to show the interior and to show it in a different light to where you can see all that. And it's just an absolutely beautiful car. It's in great shape. I figured I'd get it here with the sun going down, and even a third type of light, to where you could just really see, look at them lines, man. Or, or non-existence of them. I guess that middle body line, everything just about this car, the roundness and everything of the top and the bubble of the side, it just screams high class. Beautiful car. I know I've said that quite a few times on this one. So, let's do the dangerous thing here on the hill. Look underneath. It's in great shape. All the pans. There's a slight leak from the pan gasket um, when you let it sit a while. Um, it's in great shape. All the suspension and everything. This car has a these 420 G's and the 4.2's and the Mark 10 like this are the biggest one. 
and they come with a 14 instead of a 15. Which is odd, the smaller cars come with a bigger wheel. Underneath, the floor pans and all are in great shape. Still got factory undercoating and such on it. Some of the factory undercoating is coming off of like the fender, but the metal underneath is just nice as it gets. A little patina on it just from, you know, being what it is, old. And just in great shape. <clears throat> Let me show you from the back. And that's what I wanted to do here, was show you the underneath. I didn't show it up top. Love them tailpipes. And the independent rear suspension. Very unique on these. Very neat feeling ride. And look at the dual coils up under there. Isn't that pretty slick? And the trunk pan and everything slick in a nice shape. It is the evening time. Look at that roll pan. Just clean as it gets, man. I'm telling you. If you're in UK or New York or somewhere where stuff rusts out, not this. This one's beautiful. Well, that's the rest of your exterior and under the hood review. Um, pretty much what I'm going to show you here. And I'm going to head up top and get you a night view with the interior. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll clip all these together later, and that'll be that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And here I'm going to do you the interior when it's a little darker out here and you can really see it. But I'm also going to walk around it again because it just looks so pretty this time of night. And just give you that nighttime view on it. Beautiful car. And this one, like I say, has the 14 inch wheels on it instead of the 15s. Which is rather odd for them to give the biggest car they made the 14 inch wheels instead of the 15s. Looks beautiful. And it's getting late quick, and I'm going to show you the interior to where you can see it without the shadows. Nathan, 406-544-6919. And I've showed you the outside, so we'll just get right to the inside. Beautiful white interior. You know, you're going to mess with a clip here or there, um, like on any of these old cars. The wood is in just beautiful condition. Um, little spots starting to start on the clear coat or varnish on it. Hardly anywhere on the pedals. Rugs are in great shape. This is a beautiful Jaguar. Um, seats are just nice as it gets. White. And I believe that's as leather as it gets there too. A little bit of, probably from me driving it around. And this side hardly has anywhere at all. That dash is beautiful. All that wood staring back at you. I'll go over some options with you too. On these back windows, these could probably use a little tightening or something to make sure they stay closed and don't swing open. Not sure how that adjusts. Got the tray tables in the downright position. Gonna have to change in for landing with the mirrors in it. So that's pretty cool. And they slide in nicely and all that works. Got your ashtrays in there. I don't think cars even come with ashtrays anymore. Armrest and all that works. And just absolutely beautiful. I don't see that light or that light coming on, but this light comes on. So it must be a bulb type issue. Oh, and this weather stripping around here is flattened out and not really good weather stripping anymore. Doors open and close beautifully. Let me show you in the trunk. Beautiful, look at that big old AC unit. Still got all this back here. So I mean, it's just got all the cool stuff. And there's that original trim ring and everything. Didn't even shine that up or nothing, but as you can see, it's just nice as it gets. Look at this, this'll go with it. I hate to give this away. Um, read the eBay ad. If I get too low on the price or something, this might not come with it. This is awesome. Um, I don't see any markings. It might not be actual Jaguar, but it's kind of error correct there. It's Dunlop in it, which I think maybe Jaguar. This comes with it. This, however, if you can tell me where it goes on the car that it don't have, it goes with it. But I don't see anywhere on the car that it don't have it, so I'm going to keep these. 
along with these brackets for them. So that's your trunk and all that. Beautiful shape. And I'm gonna show you, you still got your original mat and this probably part horsehair stuff and it's just beautiful under here. Great shape. And on the other side of the wheel, our tire, we have our entire jack kit. So there's that trunk. It's got a tear there. This piece is supposed to be up like that. There's a little piece on that that ties onto that bulb, I think, to make that work. And that bulb ain't coming on. A little gash there. It's in great shape. Chip out of that. Not perfect, perfect, but it's in great shape. Wow, that's your latch. Isn't that cool, maybe? Is that what that is? Oh no, that latch hits there. What is that? Huh. I don't know what that is. It moves that little pendulum down. Maybe something locks in there that I don't have. I don't know, that's cool. A little chip right there I didn't notice earlier. Hey, right there. And then like in the back here, it's in great shape also, as you can see. Air in the back, right here. Ooh, with a little nozzle thing to turn it off and on or direct it or what have you. A flute, not that kind of flute. Carpets, double carpets. Still got the horsehair or fiberglass stuff, double layered, like these old Jags were. And look at that with the sound deadener and everything down there. It's in great shape. Um, these slide out just fine. There's that one for you too. And then I'll show you in the front here. And since it's a right hand drive from the factory, um, your hood latch popper, I know that's not what it's called, but is right there. Carpets are in great shape. CD player. As a matter of fact, I've never really... Okay, that's on. I've never messed with this. And I'm sure it worked at some point. Um, and I don't know why it wouldn't now, but I'm just gonna say that it doesn't, because it's not coming on. You can start the car up and it's not coming on. So I'm just gonna say don't work. How's that? I'd rather do that than say it does work and have some kind of issue that you don't know about. You even got a remote control for it. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know what this lady's doing here. She just seems to be totally lost. We shall see. I don't know what she needs, but we got the front hood up now, and she can just wait. Beautiful straight six, poor 4.2 with the tri-carbs. Oh, and I was gonna show you, I showed you earlier how it idles a little high. Seems to be all connected to this right here. The float. It's supposed to come up. And I can hear a vacuum leak. But I can't get that um bad boy all squared away. It needs a little bit lower idle, I think. Love that jag on the hood. I don't know what this lady needs. I mean, she's just sitting in the street there. She wants to come up here, she can come up there. Maybe a little valve adjustment on it or something at some point. Uh, it's in great shape. It just drives straight. She's gonna back up all the way down the road there. Amazing. Wow. This is left here. But that might have had some that's gone. Actually, let me turn this off where you can hear me. 
Love them big old straight sixes. Yeah, it's just beautiful under here. And I'm gonna actually set this up here. I like to close them tight with both hands. And that's that, man. That's your once around, your twice around. I think that's probably a third time around for you. And I've got some pictures of this, and I'm grabbing a few more for the heck of it, because there ain't just no two ways about it. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and clip a few more pictures, and then why not just give you a second test drive here as we say goodbye and get some final night pictures. So I'll be right back with another test drive. One owner car guy, and it's just a little bit later, and I'm gonna give you a really quick walk around of this thing in this different light here before we go on our test drive. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I know I said that a couple times about it, but it's a couple times over beautiful. I mean, it's just a beautiful car. Everybody looks at this thing when you're going down the road. And that's what we're gonna be doing right now is going down the road. So one owner car guy, that call, that's beautiful. Com. I've also got an old Studebaker Avante too on my site and miscellaneous Cadillacs and Mercedes and such on there. Uh, I've showed you the interior and under the hood and we were basically done. Oh, see, that's just a little bit tink, 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 but it has a telescopic, which works great, but it is a little bit like that. And this piece is like that. So you know. This car runs great. And I've given a test drive in the day. Um, this is our our night drive. I won't do as long of a test drive. Just actually do a drive and show you what it does. Very much like an XJ6 or XJ8, XJ series. I love the sound of that big old six. Straight six, baby. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And we're gonna Turn around right here. Since the test drive wasn't the point, I just can't resist test drives a few times in a row, it seems. This car goes, man. That's one thing about a Jag, they do go. Carbs can use a little sinking, sinking, however you want to say that. But it runs great. I like that idle being a little bit lower, I think. And being later like this, I'm trying to throw in a light test. Parking it right here. Uh oh. Reader doesn't want me to be gone. She wants me to be back here talking to her. It's where she thinks she's supposed to be. That truck came up on me again. So that's good. You can see that it does that. Oh, Breeder. Daddy's back. Lights are working. Beaglespocket.com. And I have miniature beagles. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Yeah, that was you all the whole time, huh? I know. Sorry about that. She knows the camera's on. I gotta give her a little tension. That one's a little dim. Bottoms work and everything, and the brights work. I tried them out, but that one's a little dim. Well, that is your complete review test drive. All that stuff. Um, 
we're gonna shut this thing down. See, it's just idle about maybe 300 lower than that, maybe? I would think, it's just where I feel it should be. I am not the master mechanic of all, though. So I am not 100% on that. It just seems to me it should idle at seven, 800. Around that. I should have left it started, darn it. Okay, let's do this. And that's one of the neat things about this car, is getting one that basically you got a lot of stuff that works on. Um, nice to have stuff working. Um, the heat and air, you can turn it on here. You can hear it kicking on back there. It is not ice cold. Um, look at that dash. Light little crap starting. That is a great level, nice shape. I can refinish it if you want it. Show 16872. And I would imagine that it's rolled once, but I'll tell you the God honest truth. You just look at the pedal and the different wear, it sure don't seem like it, but you just have to assume it probably did. Motorola Vibrasonic balance selection. Ooh, that might be how they made that work. I'll bet you they did run it through there somehow. I don't know how to make that work though. Um, and I haven't really tested or looked for anything. Could be as simple as a button in here or something that I'm just not seeing. Okay, well, that's that. I'm not gonna turn the wipers on because of that blade that's bad. Um, brakes, I think I need to blend a little. I actually replaced the uh, master cylinder or pump, one or the other. Um, so they work good, but they definitely are gonna need to be bled. Um, man, that is it. Oh, it's not it. This right here, sags. Like I say, that light works, them don't. Wood everywhere, wood up here, over there, everywhere. Oh man, that is the deal. Absolutely beautiful Jag. Name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy dot com and beaglespocket.com to see them little beagles with all kinds of spunk and personality. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com, and I'm here for the test drive of this beautiful 1966 Jaguar Mark 10 4.2. <whistles> a lot of straight six there, baby. So that's the deal. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Um, I'll throw in a link boop, right there to where you can go see the actual exterior review of this car if you wish. And other than that, we're gonna just get in after we go around it once and head down the road. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. The car is for sale and I'm sure you'd love it. It's a nice cruiser. I'll also have an interior video up and boop, pop that up in there to where you can go check that out if you want. But that's the car, man beautiful car. So, I'm out of here. Big old car. The biggest of the Jags. Okay. It idles just a tad high. Right now, I think it should be about 100 or two lower. I don't know why the ignition light stays on. A lot of torque, man. A lot of torque, that's all there is to it. Torquey car. Now I got my wing window open here. I like those. Crack the window a bit here. Go 
hopefully it's not too loud. No louder than it was out on this windy day. Now doing a test drive and an exterior and an interior video gives me the ultimate to take these three videos and then piece them back together. It really helps me not forget as much as I can. I wasn't going all as that guy. Nice car, man. Oh, what's that? I like old cars. 65 or so Ford or? Yeah, somewhere in there. That's nice. XL. I thought I was in the wrong gear there, but I wasn't. Ford works great. Love the fender mirrors that I didn't readjust after I took some pictures in it. Cops were down here. I don't know if you watch my videos much, you see cars right there all the time. Man, they towed them all today. Towed them all. This car ain't perfect. Um, you're gonna tinker around with this or that. Uh, but it's just darn nice as it gets. And that is almost just your test drive here. Look at that wood. Wood everywhere. The white interior is just beautiful. Whew. Plenty of power too. You gotta let off the pedal quickly because there's it just gets right up to speed. Like it ain't no thing. Big old car. Well, that's your test drive. I got some down there, but you see my Studebaker here coming up. My Avante 2. Nice 78 Cadillac Coupe de Ville there. Little Volvo Amazon. Little Testarostica. S500. If you like older classics and such, well, this is definitely the place for you to be, is on my channel. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, share! Share my videos, it really helps out when people share my videos. You have no idea, maybe you do, maybe you do. You have no idea just how much it helps to have somebody share your videos. It really gets it out there. I'll go over the interior options and stuff, stuff, here in a while. See, I don't like how that idle's just a little bit too high. I think honestly about, right there, about 500 extra RPMs. Should be a little bit less. Well, that is your test drive. Man, there is beautiful car. You know that trunk will pop up on me when I'm driving, just for no reason, every once in a while, and I don't think I latch it all the way when I shut it. Latch now. Well, that's it. It's beautiful. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And that's your 66 Jaguar. My name is Nathan, 406 360. Well, that's not my number. 406 544 6919. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day, whatever it is, wherever you are. To see the rest of this video, I'll pop some links up everywhere, and make sure to check out my channel if you like old cars. I got bunches of them. And Beagles, beaglespocket.com. We'll talk to you.